Okay, we're going to demonstrate a simple pickoff. And we're going to have to use our imagination a little bit. And because this bucket is going to represent our victim or our casualty. Okay. He's literally on the other side. He's stuck. This might be tether. This might be a separate rope system. Yeah, it could be anything. But the problem is, is we have to get him off of his system down to our system. Okay. And there's a lot more to this than what I'm demonstrating, but um, I just want to show a simple tool to help facilitate that. Okay. Because we, we're not always going to have the ability to just simply lower him on his system. Sometimes we have to actually have to raise him and they get this person onto our system. Okay. So this is where this simple little personal device comes into play. It's a, either a two to one or a four to one. And so remember our goal is to get him unclipped. Um, after, of course, we've attached him to our system, but um, get him unclipped from, unclipped from his system so we can free him in order to move him to our system. And hopefully you can hear me over all this wind, but uh, we'll give it a go. All right, so first thing I need is a rope grab. And I'm just using a simple ascender. And we got a little free bug in there. And if we want to use this as a two-to-one, all we have to do is clip in here and attach it. We're going to assume this handles this harness. Okay. We're going to lock it down. And make sure our mini traction is in a free spool and just raise this up. Okay. Now. So right now we're in a two to one with a change of direction. Before we start raising, we want to capture all of our progress. So we want to go ahead and set our mini traction into lock mode. If I can, there we go. Okay, now, if you're hanging on a rope, uh, it's gonna be hard just to pull down like this if this person weighs any kind of significant weight. Um, so what you can do is you can use your body weight to your advantage. Grab this right foot like this and just step up. Okay? And just keep doing that until this person is up high enough to where we can get him off of his system. to our system okay now obviously there'd be a some sort of a device either pick off strap or another piece of rope what have you so this person is always on a sound system okay I'm just showing you you this device right here okay so that's a two to one using our body weight as to help us along so if I'm a unlock this I gotta put a little pressure on it and then I can just slowly lower him down okay okay so that's a two to one configuration now the other option is a three to one and we would just reverse these pulleys traction at the rope grab all right and then we would attach our other pulley to our victim and raise that up again and this time we're going to and I've introduced a bunch of twists in there I'll fix that still work with it twisted but in order for to demonstrate okay so now of course 
anytime we're lifting we want to capture our progress so we're going to put this in the, in the lock mode and um, as a rescuer you would be up higher than your victim okay and you're just going to raise okay and this is a three to one configuration and you can even if you wanted to if you had another pulley you could put another pulley up here and do a change of the direction and pull down to achieve your three to one okay but this is the the three to one right here and again our goal is to get our casualty off of their system so they can transfer their full weight onto our system and then we can get them to the ground okay but all right but that's it in a nutshell um, that's the uh, three to one configuration and the next part of the video I'll show you how to create your own system how to tie this it's a very lightweight very compact system for achieving um, small raises okay and it also can get you out of your own situation if you get stuck somewhere so okay very good uh, stick around to see how you tie this okay so how do you tie this thing well you're gonna need some equipment you're gonna need cordage you're gonna need two carabiners uh, I like ovals because this device is somewhat wide and oval fits in there nicely you're gonna need a fixed pulley and of course the mini traction all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tie this fixed pulley onto this cordage and we're going to use a directional eight for that so first thing we'll do is we'll slide this through and just to demonstrate a directional eight we're going to make a loop we're going to go behind we're going to go in front and then we're going to come up from below through the top and following this strand right here okay we're going to hold both of those and pull and what you'll end up with is a directional eight just like that but we want this in that loop so we'll do the same thing again we'll make a nice loop and this is where you have to be careful keep everything nice and neat because the pulley might twist everything on you and ruin your knots, but uh, okay, we're gonna pinch you right there. So principle, we're gonna go behind. We're gonna come in front. Okay, and then we're gonna come from below, following this strand right here, and then we're gonna dress our knot. Okay, so now we have our fixed pulley captured in our directional light knot. Now, the next thing we need to do is we're going to tie a either a poacher's knot or a scaffold knot onto this carabiner. slack out set your knot okay with the gate opening that configuration okay all right so we're halfway there we got these two components in place we're going to take the rest of our let's get this oriented correctly um we're going to make a loop for the bottom of our mechanical advantage system and we're going to find the end and we're going to thread it through the pulley okay so now i'm going to flip this over just so it looks a little better 
I'll tell you what, I'm going to reverse that. I don't like the way that looks. I'm going to... I'll just go this way. Okay. Now, what we have to do is put our mini traction in. Um, now, the... This can be somewhat confusing how to orient this, uh, especially because you have a capture device. Uh, just keep in mind that this strand right here is what we're gonna be capturing, okay? And um, this thing, when you engage this, it has teeth in it, and it locks against this little pin right here, okay? So, we wanna orient it correctly, and we want this pin on to where is going to capture this strand right here okay so that means i have to reverse this put it in like this and lock it okay so that means when i engage it i should be able to pull on these and this is going to capture this progress so and the last thing i'm going to do is put a carabiner in there okay so this is our device and let's show it in action. I'll okay, it's gonna look just like this. And if I want to free spool it, open it up. And then if I want to have progress capture, do this. And then as I pull, it's gonna capture all my progress. Okay, so that is how you do it. Um, it's a great little device. Um, very handy to have. It's great for pickoffs. It's also great for getting yourself out of a situation if you get stuck somewhere. Okay, it's either a two to one or a three to one. And what I like to do is put it in a little pouch like this. And starting with the tail. Just kind of stuff it into that sack. Just stuff everything in there. Just like that. Okay, so, and of course you got a little loop right here to click on onto your harness and then uh, put it in the back out of your way and if you ever need it just uh, reach in there pull it out and you've got a handy dandy little mechanical advantage system okay hope this helps um see you in the next one